Hello guys and everyone who is watching. Uh, today I would like to show an example how to inspect a sewer pipe with a simple uh, inspection system such as this. This is a Viper push camera that is supplied by Fabriscope.net. Uh, and today I will show you how to put it together, how to insert it to your pipe, some tips and some tricks. Let's get started. First thing we open the hood. We have the monitor here with all the buttons. We have the control box. We have the reel, the connection cable, and camera heads. We have three different camera heads. A longer one with a more rigid spring, a shorter one with a shorter spring, and this is a more flexible one with a smaller camera head. In this specific uh, inspection I'll be using a I think this camera head we have a pipe roughly this size around two inches so this 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 camera head should be suffice Viper push camera is has a very major advantage over other systems because it has a modular design meaning you have a reel separate you have a cable separate and you have a control box separate and a monitor if something breaks if you have a damage in your connection cable, just replace it. Uh, if you have a damage in your reel, replace the reel. Damage the camera head, replace the camera head and with all the other parts as well. The first step with a Viper Push camera is to connect the control box. We have the connection cable here. Control box with the reel. Just simply insert it. And here, onto the reel. The next step is to connect the camera head. We have the fiberscope probe here. Put into the loop and connect the desired camera head. We will change this camera head. And uh, for protecting the camera head, we have uh, two skids. We have a larger skid. I think this will be more for four-inch pipes, three-inch pipes. And it also depends uh, if you have tighter bends, you would use a smaller skid. If you have more straight runs, you would you would use a larger skid. So in this case, I know we would have some 90s and 45s in this sewer pipe. Uh, I will use a smaller skid. Just if pops onto the head, uh, screws on with a wrench. Uh, it's a very good tip is to secure the skid uh, tightly because when you push through the, uh, through the pipes it can get uh, tangled up or get stuck and if you use lots of force you can get the skid left uh, down in the pipe, so be sure to secure the skid very tightly. And at last, we uh, just power it on the control box. The lights should go on. There's the illumination control, the lights are bright, and the image should pop on, on the screen shortly. Good image, very good. Right now we are all set to start inspecting. We have the camera reel ready, the camera head with the skid on, the full lights on. So the next step is to insert the uh, camera head into the pipe. The Viper Drain camera has a recording feature, so you can record the inspection and show the homeowner uh, the recording to proof of the inspection. So we'll press record and we have the Recording started here. Okay, so let's start the inspection. I have turned on a tap, so we have water flowing down the pipe to see that uh, there is no obstruction. So the first thing that we encounter is we have uh, a 90 degree side coming pipe. 
that has the water coming in and we will inspect the pipe going straight. What, right now we will counter a bend, a 90 degree bend. Um, how to pass it is just to do it gently. Don't force it too much, just do it gently because this is a precision equipment. Uh, it has fiberglass push cable. Just do it gently so it passes nicely. If you do it too much, it can kink or it can break. So we're passing 90 to the bend. We passed it. And what we see right now is we have this straight pipe going down and we have the water flowing down. Let's start in, let's go in, let's start going down. I see that the water is flowing pretty good, has no obstruction down the pipe. Uh, and the image is good, as you see on the on the screen. The image is very good. We have the we have the uh, connections here, the pipe connections. Pipe seems clear and unobstructed at this at this scene. Okay, now we we have another bend. It looks like a 45 bend, and we'll pass it the same way. We'll just do it gently but firmly, not too much force, so it doesn't break. If it doesn't go through the first time, just put down the reel and try it. Push it out, try it again. Sometimes there's an issue, sometimes it gets snagged a little bit, but don't use too much force because it can break the cable. I don't know why, but we're not passing the uh, the bend. We'll try it again. Okay, we passed the bend. What do we have here? Another 90 bend. And then, it, as I see, we are entering the sewer. Sewer water. So that's the end of the pipe. It ends right here. Okay, now we can already start um, spooling in, in because we have um, clearly seen that the water is flowing down uh, pretty free freely. There is no obstruction and there is nothing that we can tell that is uh, holding the water back. So a great tip is to use a just a rag to so when you spool in the cable to clean it right away because this is sewer, sewer water. Um, just have hold it like this and spool it inside, clean it right away. Just like this. Now we're done the inspection, just I, I usually I will clean the camera head, the lens, make it sure it's clean. And basically that's it. Um, now I'll just disassemble the camera head, the reel, the connection cable, put it, put it all inside, and I'm done. Um, I have the recording on the SD card right here, so I can file it up to the homeowners um, to for proof that the pipe is clear. And basically that's how you do sewer inspection with a 5.3 camera. Thank you for watching.